The 21st annual Chocolate Fantasy Charity event was <laughs> held earlier this month at the Hyatt Regency Tamaya Resort and Spa. And the creator of the winning chocolate <laughs> sculpture joins us in our Builder Source kitchen today. Take a look at this and thanks to, of course, Tamaya's pastry chef, Charity Teague. Oh my gosh, Thank you tell so us much. about this sculpture. Thank you <gasps> so much. I, I used this opportunity um, to do something a little more unique yeah. and create an absinthe themed chocolate sculpture. So mine was called The Green Fairy Tale in Absinthe Fantasy. How perfect. Yeah, so the green fairy is sitting on top and I cast my very own authentic absinthe glass out of sugar as well. Oh. The rest of it's made from chocolate held together by chocolate about three foot tall. Well, not only is it beautiful, and not Thank only you. does it probably taste incredible, but you know, you do something that's very unique every time. And mm -hmm. you also specialize in wedding cakes. And you know, for when you think about wedding, it's a once in a lifetime event, you want that special cake. And so, do you work with the bride and groom to come up with these creative concepts? I do, I do. Okay. We have a wedding tasting, and I, I'm very lucky to be able to meet with the bride and groom, uh -huh. get into the what is their idea of what their perfect cake is going to like be? Like Disney? Yes, that was that was a beautiful themed um, Disney cake that wow. they were going Disneyland afterwards, of oh, course. Oh, what is this? That one is a mounted bass on a piece of driftwood. <laughs> but not really a um, bass. No, actually, that is a white chocolate. That's also a chocolate sculpture. Um, wow. The bass was made from white chocolate, hand painted with luster dust and cocoa butters. Oh and the cake God. is actually the um, the driftwood. It's unbelievable. <laughs> You're so creative. <laughs> Thank I, you. I, I can't get over it. And, and and that's not it. I mean, you have other desserts, obviously, that mm -hmm. you offer over yes. at Tamaya yes. at the restaurant. So tell us about those. My favorite thing, we have a dark chocolate cake that is fantastic. It's rich, it's fudgy. Mm. Right now, it's a Frangelico chocolate cake. Ooh. It's also one of the favorites for the brides. Sometimes we'll do a little bit of raspberry mousse and soak a little bit of um, Chambord Simple Syrup <gasps> on the inside. And it's a little less guilt when you eat dark chocolate. Just a little. Yeah. It's not quite yeah, as bad. Right? <laughs> you like how I'm justifying it? <laughs> yes. So what are you making today? I told you it smells like a chocolate factory. Yes. Day. Today we're making an Amarula chocolate flourless cake. Mm, okay. So we have um, some chocolate and some butter melting over a little water bath right here. You don't want to scorch the chocolate. Oh, okay, okay. Here, so we have a pound, three ounces of chocolate, a pound, three ounces of butter. Okay. So that's melting right over here. I love here. watching the artist at work. <laughs> it's very easy. You can make this so quickly. Huh? Okay. Okay, and in this bowl we have 10 whole eggs and 10 ounces of sugar. Okay. So I'm just gonna whisk this together ten until it's smooth. Eggs. Yes. Okay. You don't need any special equipment, you don't need a mixer. You can use a mixer if you like, mm -hmm. um, but hand whisking, you can do it. And if you have kids, this is so oh, yeah. much fun for them, I bet, just oh. for them to stay in the kitchen and help the, uh, you know, mom's oh. helper. And and by the way, I just have to mention, speaking uh -huh. of your creativity, the sculpture that we're looking yeah. at right here, you made that for us last night? I did it last night. <laughs> uh, I can't. I so did. <laughs> tell us a little bit about it. It's just beautiful. So it's all dark chocolate as well, um, oh. hand painted with cocoa butter, uh, colored cocoa butter, oh. and a little bit of luster dust for some sparkle. The flowers are modeling chocolate, which is a lot like fondant, mm. um, but also chocolate. And the egg for Easter, of course. Yes, absolutely, the egg for Easter. We're going to be doing um, several of these little sculptures at the Tamiya Resort for oh, nice. Easter, for our Easter display. Aww. You'll be able to see more of that. Perfect. Okay, so you combine? Yes, so I added the chocolate and the butter into the egg mixture. We're just going to whisk again until it's smooth. Okay. See how fast that's coming together? Yeah, so I mean, easy. you do make it look really easy. <laughs> I don't know super that I easy. Could be as good as it is. <laughs> now the fun stuff. Okay. So we're going to do uh, one half of a teaspoon of cayenne, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, mm. and half a teaspoon of New Mexico red chili powder. Ooh. Whisk that in. I love when you bring New Mexico style yes, into it. Yes, absolutely. Um, and then Amarula liqueur. It's a South African berry liqueur made from the Marula berry. Whoa. Yeah, so we're going to do a quarter cup of that. Well, that just spices right it up inside. in its own special way, doesn't it? <laughs> it has a nice berry finish, and so it complements it really well. <laughs> now, so obviously, when you're home making this, you'll have a lot more time. We yeah. only have a little less than a minute, so okay. we'll do it at speed process. But you'll <laughs> give yourself process. a little more time. But overall, so it's too long. Yeah. Bake it off in a little spring form in a water bath for about 50 minutes at 300 oh. degrees. Okay. And then degrees. in a water bath, so you'll put the, you'll put water in the pan. Yes. Okay. Not bad. And how long did you say? Fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. Five zero. Okay. Yes. <gasps> so it's a nice fudgy dense cake. That's perfect. Yeah. It's like perfection. Add a little bit of berries on top, a little bit of um, whipped cream, something like that. Whatever you want, you can cut them into fun shapes. And then, of course, we can come in and have these treats with you if we go over Absolutely. to High Regency Tamaya. All the details of how you can do that on your screen with the address as well as the phone number. And I have exercised some significant discipline <laughs> this entire hour. When we come back, we are tasting the cake.
Thanks, Charity. Thank you. Today's Chef Appearance is sponsored in part by Ben E. Keith Food Service Distributors. You can call me Guilty Chocolate Face <laughs> because I licked the spatula. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. Thanks to Charity You're Teague welcome. of Tamaya. Yeah. Now tell us what we have here one more time. So if you were eating at the Tamiya Resort, this is how we would serve it to you. Mm. Um, if you want to get this effect, you can punch it out with a little ring or a cookie cutter. Some fresh berries with a little bit of um, oh. cream, a little chocolate ganache. Oh, yeah, Charity, no so wonder good. you are an award-winning <laughs> sculptor with Thank chocolate. You. Now with you are chocolate. sculpting our bodies into <laughs> blop, blop, blop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited to try. Thank you so much. You're so Thank welcome. You. And thanks to all of you for joining us today. If there's anything you need to know about our show, just go to our website at casa.com. Have watch a great Idol. one. Yeah. <laughs> and watch Idol. Watch the uh, tournament. And the Lobos. Go, go Lobos. Lobos. Go Lobos. We'll see you tomorrow at 8. Mm. <gasps> Oh, so good. <laughs> Yay. Glad you like it. Thank God I have boot camp today. <laughs> oh.